So guys, finally Microsoft released the Windows 11 developer preview yesterday and if you're a part of the developer channel of Windows Insider, you can go ahead and download it right now from your Windows updates. If you want to know how you can be a part of Windows Insider, I have made a separate video on it. I will link it down below. Now downloading it right from your Windows updates might not be the best choice. Uh, and there are two reasons for that. The first reason is that if you install Windows 11 directly from Windows updates and in case you want to roll back to Windows 10 uh, due to stability issues, you won't be able to uh, roll back normally. You will have to do a clean installation of Windows 10. And the second reason is uh, there are a lot of people complaining that they cannot join the developer program and only the Windows preview release channel is available to them. So in these cases, the option we have got left is downloading uh, the ISO and installing it manually. But the thing is that Microsoft hasn't yet released the ISO of this developer preview. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can dual boot Windows 11 and Windows 10. So you can use both versions of Windows and you'll be able to use the stable Windows 10 as your daily driver and test out Windows 11 alongside. So keep watching. So the safest way and the way that I would recommend to get the ISO is to wait for the Microsoft to release the official ISO on the insider page. So this is the insider page uh, in which Microsoft releases the official uh, ISO images. So I will link this page down below. Once you are part of insider you can download the ISO images. So as you can see only the Windows 10 developer preview is available currently. So when the Windows 11 developer preview comes out it will be available to download from right here. So in case you do not want to wait for Microsoft to release its official ISO, the second way comes down to a website called uupdump.net. What it is uh, basically is a repository for Microsoft Windows image files. So this is not completely legit and as official as downloading uh, the ISO from Microsoft directly, but it is an option and if you can't wait, you can go ahead and try this. So once you've downloaded the files from uupdump.net, uh, go ahead and extract them and you'll find a bad file in the folder. Go ahead and right click on it and run it as administrator. So this file will start building the ISO itself and it will take quite some time and some internet, but you have to be patient at this stage. So once the process is complete, the ISO will be saved in the same folder in which the bad file was. Now in order to install this ISO into our system, we have to create a bootable USB. So for this we have to download Rufus and I will leave its link below. Once you're inside Rufus. Go ahead and select the USB drive and the image that we just created and go ahead and click start. So Rufus will do its process and will uh, create the bootable uh, USB for you. Now in order to bypass the TPM and secure boot errors on Windows 11 installation, you have to download another bad file from the link down below and once you've downloaded this file just copy and paste it into our USB drive.
so once you're inside the windows installation setup and your system doesn't support all the requirements for windows 11 you can follow the steps shown here to bypass the system requirements options to choose from the first will be the windows that you just installed and the second one will be your old windows so once you see these two options you will know that the dual boot is successful so guys that was it for this video and if you faced any problems along the way or you have any queries about this then you can comment down below or you can reach out to me at my instagram handle and I'll be sure to address your problems. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and I will see you guys in the next one.